I'm going to show you another way to import Colada files into Maya, which um, has a neat trick by this script called drag import Colada. And uh, the reason for creating this script is I, I got a question from one of my students um, if it was possible to import a Colada file in Maya just simply by drag and dropping the file into the viewport, which is an import command by Maya, and still get the nice feature to add a new custom attribute uh, which could hold the, the file path for the newly imported object. So um, I started pondering on how, how this would be possible and I realized that there's a script job available which triggers on um, reading new files uh, which would be uh, opening a file in Maya or uh, importing files and uh, specifically for the Colada files we import uh, using the bundled Colada uh, importer it outputs a log file so um, I trigger the, the, this on um, importing the file and I read the file path from the log file so I'm going to show you how this works I'll um, initiate or call the script here like so now I have the script and the script job running in the background and if I were to import a Colada file there we go. And if I check the Collada file, the um, sorry, the newly imported objects transform node under extra attributes, I get a newly created uh, attribute called file path. And this is going to contain the absolute path to the newly imported Collada files. And there are optional flags which you can use when importing t to edit this uh, even more to your liking. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that. So here's how you can use the optional flags when triggering the script. Uh, when calling the start import function you can uh, also add optional flags called break word, prefix, suffix and auto type. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how all of these work. Um, so if I in Maya first edit the break word and the break word is um, a part of the file path string where you want to, to chop chop off uh, the prior part. So this is for actually getting relative paths. I'm going to show you what I mean by this. Uh, if I look here in my game directory, and you can see the full path here, um, I probably don't want to, to include this absolute path part here uh, in my final uh, level file or actually stored in the object. So let's say that I just want to keep uh, this part here. right? So the break word is a term inside this entire string which I'm going to search for and I'll, I'll uh, erase anything prior to that break word. So I could do a search for let's say um, backslash content for instance. If I were to search for this term in the file path the script would locate this word and just erase everything prior to, to this word. So let's go ahead and try that. I'll um, add this just by going citation sign and actually two backslashes because in Python just one backslash um, is a specific syntax character and I need to therefore add this uh, escape character. So two backslashes and content uh, like so. And citation sign again. And then if we have a look again I could add prefix and suffix. And this is um, for specific uh, editing for, for my kind of uh, level I'd want to create. So let's say that I want the syntax where I um, add these. This as a prefix. Uh, I'll go model like so. And as a suffix I could go um, like so. Model. Uh, there we go. And let's give that a try. So I'm going to run this line and now I should have the script job started and running and let's try importing a file. So I'll once again import my asteroid and if we were to have a look at this one we'll see that um, I have my prefix the file path is now chopped off at the content part and I also have my suffix. So that's one uh, way of using these optional flags. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the last flag, which is the autotype. So here's how the autotype flag works. Uh, if we have a look here, you can see that we have four optional flags. We have the break word, prefix, suffix, and the autotype. And by default, this is zero. So to enable this, I'd have to go um, 
no break word, no prefix, no suffix, and enable, a 1 for enabling the auto type. And actually I do still want the break word, so let's just put uh, content over there, right? And let's run the script. There we go, should be running now. And I'll just show you what the auto type does. So if we scroll down here, you can see that um, basically what autotype does is it's going to search for this term in the file path and if it finds this term it's going to use this predefined formatting for the file path. So um, this is useful if, if, um, if I for my game project were to use certain naming standards for my models. So uh, an enemy model would be called enemy underscore, a static object could be called static underscore etc. Um, and if you were to name it accordingly, you could have certain predefined ways to, to uh, edit this string. So, if, uh, if I'm going to show you, let's uh, get an object called enemy underscore something something, and we should get this kind of formatting. So, um, if I were to take my asteroid, and I'd rename it, I'd put enemy in front, there we go, and drag drop that into Maya, we should now get this kind of uh, custom formatting. So now I have my my enemy tag, my model tag, my relative path since it's still using the break word content and also the last part of the formatting. So this is really useful for saving a lot of time if we have predetermined ways of, uh, of working in my game project.